uh, on the subway itself to um, to take photographs. So he was he was uh, out and about uh, looking, uh, just uh, uh, sitting in the, in the subway, driving around New York. These are these photos are all from New York, and in he took a lot of pictures, and in the end, um, a number of them made it into the book. So, let's see what we got here. It was published in uh, 1986. Subway. You can feel the temperature, the texture, the mood, and the attitude in these pictures, he explained. No doubt, I replied. And I recognize the tags of someone, of some of these graffiti writers as well. The, uh, that, that was how a uh, cinema, cinematographer and director Malik Saeed introduced me to uh, Bruce Davidson subway photographs. Oh, it's, uh, it's a good description. The mood and texture in these pictures. So let's see. Here we got the man himself in the subway. Well, and since it's 1980, uh, early 1980s, um, yeah. Uh, analog uh, photography with a uh, bit of flash on it. It's in 1980. It's, I like the picture. So in every photo book you get like a uh, explanation uh, for example, and it's called your train of thought but it's basically explanation what they, uh, what he was doing and let's see if I can find something interesting. Uh, to prepare myself for the subway, I started a crash diet, a military fitness uh, exercise program, and early every morning I jogged in the park. I knew I would need to train like an uh, athlete to be physically able to carry my heavy camera equipment around in the subway for hours every day. So you literally spend hours every day in the subway just to find the right picture. I tend to look also at the last paragraph just to take a look at uh, what's what. And let me just place the coffee here and not spill it. And it says, in, trans in transforming the grim, abusive, violent, and yet uh, often serene reality of the subway into a language of color, I see the subway as a metaphor for the world in which we live today. From all over the earth people, come into uh, into the subway it's a great social equalizer as uh, our being is exposed we confront our mortality contemplate our destiny and experience both the beauty and the beast um, from uh, the moving train above ground we see glimpses of the city and as the train moves into tunnels star uh, sterile fl fluorescent light reaches into the Stony gloom, and we trapped inside. All hang on together. So yeah, yeah. The the eighties in New York. Well, it, different than now, as far as I understand. It's it's a lot more criminal, a lot more dodgy, a lot more dark. Actually, it's it's like uh, I wouldn't say it's it's like a Batman uh, movie, uh, uh, the city of Batman. But think of that. Yeah, coffee is good. So yeah, this is like a morning routine, like a, um, making coffee, uh, starting off the computer, reading some news, maybe like now a photo book and just have an easy morning just to chill, relax, hang out.
so yeah these are the first pictures so as you can at least how it's uh translates to me i do see the dark and gloomy uh way of uh, the pictures Yeah, you can really see it's not current time. And even if you maybe related to your own country where you live in. Um, musicians, of course. Well, it's actually quite interesting because last Sunday I was scanning photographs of Berlin. And also in the metro. Because, yeah, it, it, it's just a good place also for photography. And also a guy with a sex. <laughs> so... That's actually quite nice. It's uh, and I like I like that picture. It's uh, I can maybe find it uh, in a moment. So I will take a look. So yeah. Um. let's see what we can find here this is uh it's a new computer so i will just need to start up lightroom and open up uh, catalog Let's take... Ah, now we're outside. Yeah. With reflections. Ah, New York. The Statue of Liberty. Which is good. So let's... Let me find the picture I was just mentioning. And also... Uh, see on my screen. Yeah. Here we go. Well, <laughs> just to make a difference or this picture is a lot better, I would say. It's got a lot more drama in it, but yeah, um, I like it. And also, if we're talking about subways, this was also a good one. So this is Berlin 2023. And the book is early 1980s in New York. Uh, a lot has changed, I think, also in New York. So this is where we were. Sometimes I will just skip a little bit further. Different seasons. So you can actually see... Uh, he spent a lot of time on the subways, and 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 that's that's what it was interesting to me. Like uh, we take so much pictures, and then, for example, from one holiday we create a whole photo book. It's like okay, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice, but are the uh, it depends on w what you want because if you just want to show your holiday, maybe it's alright. But if you wanna, okay, I actually want to have good photographs. <laughs> Uh, I don't think that um, that it's that easy just to make, uh, just to throw in. Uh, you really have to be critical for yourself and actually see, okay, this is a good picture because I like it because of this and this and this. To, to yeah, what do you want to do with a picture? Do you want to uh, 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 relate something? Do you want to give someone a feeling how it was there? Yeah, for example, this one, you, you can see also the time with the big boom blaster on the shoulder. Yeah. I would say I first thought evening for this one, but uh, looking at the dresses, it's probably or morning, but it's probably evening because 
Uh, it looks like they're going out, so the sun's going down, I will say. Yeah, multiple layers. Like, first the, the persons, then uh, the houses in the glass. Or it could actually be a reflection, but... Yeah, these are reflections, and then the actual houses in behind. So yeah, these are... Mm. Interesting photographs. Just to take a look, to learn. And as you can see also, these, these were all analog uh, photos. So all these pictures you see wasn't done digitally. They were all analog and in some way they digitalized it. And you get all these, uh, all the right details, all the... Uh, the atmosphere. So, yeah. For some, you probably ask if the if he could take the picture, because if I look at this one, for, for me at least, it would be... Um, I would say a bit hard to to take that picture uh, while not being seen. Oh, I just did a little bit of the lighting. So let's see how... How that's working now. I think it's, it's a bit better. Uh, less glare. So. Hmm. I like that one. And he definitely wasn't. Uh, okay. I am curious what kind of lens they used. Because I've, uh, when I look at these pictures, it's like um, maybe like a 21 millimeter. I haven't read it actually uh, uh, yet. What uh, well, what kind of gear or well, especially lens they use? I think it's it's like a twenty one millimeter or something because it's it's actually really wide because you can see standing actually quite close to to them and also if you can think it's in a, a metro or tram in this uh, this one it's <laughs> it's small so and also the interesting thing is it's all colors so. Uh, most photography, especially in early days, was done by um, uh, was done in black and white. These are colors. Yeah, these are <laughs> these are great pictures. Yeah, I've I've seen this well, this book before. Uh, I've bought it quite some time ago, but haven't looked at it since. Well, uh, in the beginning, I, like multiple times, but not for the last year or so. So it was actually nice to to see. One moment to see these pictures again. Was, these are these photos. <laughs> Someone's trying to get in or out. That's the that's the question. I think out. Yeah, these these this one is good. You can see the eyes just in front. That's a good one. And the yellow color again. Maybe I saw what's that before? The whole family up and about music with them. The happy moments. 
friends probably going out or something <laughs> and it can get really busy everybody's holding on to well the pole and yeah if you've ever been into a busy uh, metro or anything like that that's very familiar yeah i like how he plays with light like with this and the reflections and then multiple layers in a photograph yeah i do wonder of some <laughs> oh the actually brought their own chair so she's sitting on a on a folding chair and probably maybe they need to go for a ride or they're going somewhere where they need it so why not ah that's a good one it is it's it's like okay that's nice even even that they brought the ball that's that's yeah when you're just walking around you're you don't know what you're gonna find so it's it's uh Yeah, in metro stations you can find weird stuff, of course, especially then. <laughs> it's I felt as though it was a man, but not. Now, yeah, someone went bad. Oh, now it gets a little bit more aggressive. I don't know how you get a picture like this, like uh, that. That's someone with a gun uh, pointing at someone. Maybe it actually looks real. It doesn't look played, basically, at least how I look at it. So it's, uh, yeah, I, if you look at the expressions of the of the faces, it looks actually quite real. So I don't know how to get a picture like that. Yeah, maybe it's like an 18 mil, because I, if I look at this one, you're standing quite close. Yeah, and this is the famous photograph that's on the front. New York, the Statue of Liberty, with the metro in the in the front, of course. A lot has been done with flesh. Haven't done it yet myself, but could be an idea. So yeah, that was the book of uh, Bruce Davidson Subway. Let me try and get it to close in a normal way. <laughs> 